Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back uh, to Sahara Football as usual. I am your host, Selassie It's a Friday and the weekend is upon us. We are going to look at the latest update that came up after the stories I brought you earlier this weekend. This week, guys, I spoke to you about the Sahara Football Club Championship that came up after the stories I brought you earlier this weekend. This week, I spoke to you about the Sahara Football Club Championship uh, with Ghana Black Stars and Christian Achu's situation with his club side Newcastle. Now, Newcastle United coach uh, Steve Bruce has made it clear that uh, uh, Christian Achu uh, is surplus uh, to requirements uh, at his side, and now Achu has to look for a new club. Uh, that search has begun, and Celtic have uh, become the front runners for the signature of the Ghanaian. We'll be giving you more updates uh, today. Uh, Ghana's uh, ranking in the latest FIFA rankings have been revealed and after months of hiatus of the FIFA ranking we now have uh, the latest FIFA ranking and Ghana's position in those FIFA rankings. Kudus Mohammed, I brought you that story about him being involved in the Golden Ball nomination. He was in the top 60, now it has been tripped down to the top 40 and unfortunately Kudus Mohammed could not make it uh, to the top 40. We'll be looking at that uh, much better. Uh, as usual, if you're new, subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, I'll start from the camp of Asamoah Jan. Now, now, we all know Asamoah Jan is the darling boy of Ghana football, our highest goal scorer ever. Yesterday, I brought you those reports uh, that were indicating that Asamoah Jan uh, should retire from the Black Stars and that we have to move on from him. It was from a former uh, player of the Ghana Black Stars. He was in the person of Ose Kofi and now another former player has come to speak on this and he says uh, we do not retire legends and Asamoah Jan is still useful to the Ghana Black Stars. And when I posted that video a lot of you in the comments were of the opinion uh, that uh, majority actually were of the opinion that Asamoah Jan really could offer something to the black stars and that we needed him still in the stars food and he didn't just have to go like that Mohamed Polo a former player of the Ghana black stars is also of the same opinion he says uh, that we do not resign legends he is a 1978 Afghan star he believes that the Eswar Udenese man must be allowed to decide the possible end of his international career and not uh, to be sacked uh, from the team in quotes he says we don't retire legend so we should allow him to play Polo said he won the AFCON in 1978 legends decide on their future I had the same problem during my stint with our car had to folk they wanted to retire me and that is why I joined Great Olympics Hearts of Oak wanted to retire me at all costs, but I told them we don't retire legends. The truth is that legends retire themselves. No one thought him how to play football, and so why do you want him out of the team? If CK Akono will need him in the team, he should invite him and give him the general captain to him because he is the captain now. <laughs> in fact, it won't work for CK if he invites Jan and put him on the bench because he has a high spirit. <laughs> Jan made his appearance for Ghana, first appearance for Ghana, the 2006 World Cup qualifier game against Somalia in 2003, going on to score the West Africans' first ever goal at the global showpiece against the Czech Republic in Germany. Now, 17 years in national team service, former Sunderland striker has featured 109 times and scored. 51 matches. Um, there were calls for him by players, uh, former players like Ose Kofi, who has won the AFCON before to, for Jan uh, to retire. But Ose Kofi is of that opinion, and Mohamed Polo begs to differ. We don't retire legends, according uh, to Mohamed Polo. Uh, they decide how they want to retire and we have to respect that. I, I, I tend to side with him a bit. Uh, we can't push him out. We can't force him out. Um, he is a, a man of his own and he, he can make his own decisions. So with all those calls for him to retire are really unwarranted. Uh, that's according to Mohamed Polo. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I know a lot of you might agree with Polo, but let me know what you think in the comments box. My next story has to do with Christian 
at you. This week I brought you the story about his coach telling him to look for another club and he says he deems that you surplus the requirements along with four other players. Now earlier in January Celtic showed interest in Christian Achu, but unfortunately the move was campered at the end and now uh, they are back uh, for the Ghanaian who has fallen out of favor with his coach at Newcastle United. Now this week the manager Steve Bruce made it clear that the Ghana international time at Tyneside is completely over with four others in the recently commenced English and Premier League season. Now the diminutive wide man found opportunities limited as St. Jesus Park amid injuries at the AFCON and uh, it looks like the winger may not wait around for much longer having found a new suitor in scottish champions celtic who have intensified efforts to sign him following his status with newcastle uh, declared not needed celtic were on the verge of signing Achu in january uh, but the move was unsuccessful with a year left on his existing contract Achu is expected uh, to command a sizable transfer fee for the current club amid the transfer saga. Now the 28 year old initially joined Newcastle from Chelsea in 2016 where the, while the Magpies were in the English Championship. Achu had numerous loan spells with the likes of Vitesse, Everton, Bournemouth and Malaga. He helped Newcastle out of uh, the relegation zone and uh, unfortunately now he has to look for a new club. It's, it's quite unfortunate but it does happen and it's 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 really it's really sad to see this happen uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments box of this actual situation i think celtic are in for him the front runners for his signature and i think rightly so he should move uh, to them my next story has to do with the ghana black stars and the latest uh, fifa ranking now the fifa rankings were supposed to come out earlier this year as early as march uh, the latest one but unfortunately um, it didn't come out it wasn't forthcoming because we all know what happened COVID. yeah COVID happened and all the international games and everything was brought to a halt and we had to reschedule our plans everything everything had to be reprogrammed and now the latest fifa rankings are out and ghana's position has uh, been reviewed it remains unchanged at the 46th position after the rankings made a return after 10 months of hiatus now the global order of national team seedings originally updated monthly had been halted since march uh, following uh, the covid 19 disruptions of international football uh, with games returning for the first time earlier uh, this month in september in europe and Ghana's last international action uh, took place in november and ranked 51st in september last year the black stars presently ta costa rica on 46th uh, but sit just behind uh, it's just about jamaica who are 48th uh, per the latest update published on fifa's website on thursday that was yesterday on continental level ghana hold the sit spot uh, below senegal 20th in the world tunisia 26th in the world nigeria 29th in the world um african champions algeria 35th in the world and morocco 43rd in the world egypt are 51st in the world cameroon 53rd in the world mali 57th and dr congo also 57th uh, they complete africa's uh, top 10. now ghana were due to return to action in march with the 2021 african cup of nations qualifier double header with sudan but the games were postponed and they will be playing those games later on in november a friendly forthcoming in october hopefully against algeria so that is it there the latest uh, fifa ranking uh, the top four are belgium france brazil and england they kept uh, their places in there so that is it there with the latest FIFA ranking ghana remains 46th in the world rankings my final story has to do with uh, kudus mohammed i brought you that story updating you on him being shortlisted in the top 100 for the golden boy award it has been trimmed down further uh, to the top 40 and unfortunately a youngster is not in there now the youngster has been dropped from the final 40 short man list uh, from the golden boy award 
uh, but Myron Buedu and Callum Hassan Odoi uh, made the cut. Uh, now, uh, the former Right to Dream Academy player currently with Ajax made a top 80 list uh, into the top 60, uh, but uh, he couldn't make it into the top 40 uh, list. In recent times, uh, Paul Pogba and Raheem Sterling and the likes have won this award. He has done well. Being nominated in the first place uh, was the win and uh, we wish the one who wins at the very best top 40 he is not in there let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box legends cannot be retired that's according to muhammad polo so we should leave asamoa jan alone Achu to celtic after newcastle coach says he surplus the requirements Ghana's position in the latest uh, fifa rankings review 46th maintained unchanged after the rankings had gone on hiatus for close to six months uh, following a disruption in uh, football link activities on the international level and Kudus Mohammed he has not been shortlisted in the top 40 uh, for the Golden Boy Award your thoughts in the comments box have a great weekend enjoy your day